Hello everyone, you are watching GS Tutorials and today we are going to learn about code commit uh, securing the repositories from different users. So let's get started. So the first thing is this that you can see that in any kind of a project, all the developers code the changes into the repository collaboratively in which what actually happens is the junior developers code and then merge those branches into the main or master branch which is the relevant branch so they don't directly push their code into the master since it needs to be reviewed by someone who is senior enough to check the code approve it and then add it to the master branch so now we'll try to create different user groups for that purpose. So this is the admin user group. We'll be now creating a user group which will be only dedicated for the developers, for the junior developers we could say. Okay. And we'll be adding this particular user. And also the policy will be the deny policy which won't allow them do the changes right so i will be copying this code of limiting the the pushes and merges okay so with this i will be just copying and pasting it over here now in this case the effect will be denied as you can see, in case of users of, if I consider Atu, it has got a admit, administrator access. Now, if we check the administrator access, it is of allow type. And the one that we are pasting, using over here is of deny type. So, explicit deny will always have a greater precedence over the allow effect and the action that it won't be allowed to do are as follows after that we'll be checking the resource and the resource we are using over here is a code commit right so this is the arn of a sample code commit we'll be pasting our arn over here okay will be just control C okay and we'll be pasting it over here after that we'll be adding it over here okay then next so we won't be adding any tag as such and the name of the policy will be cannot push to or commit okay or commit master this will be the name of it this policy okay now this will get created over here okay and now we'll be add we'll be creating a user group first of all. Let's do that. Junior devs. And then in that we'll be giving a two. Then this policy. And we'll be creating a group. Okay. Now since I am logged in as a two, let's see if I can make few changes into the code commit of course it won't work it should not work right if i get into the index.html and say edit if i change the version gs tutorials and email address Oh, 
modify index dot html and commit the changes it should not happen because we have as you can see over here it is not authorized to perform code commit put file on resource code commit with an explicit deny in an identity based policy so because of this policy i am not able to commit the changes to the master but in case of my feature i can do that so i will now change it it's already changed I'll just put it and make it to five or i'll just kind of add a colon to it okay Then I have modify index.html and now you can see that I will be able to see those changes. Okay. And the next thing that we can do is raise the pull request. To create a pull request, we'll be adding the sources from feature and to master compare version change. Now the pull request got created. Now I will be back with the GR17 and we'll continue merging it. So coming back with GR17, I'm now ready to merge it. Okay, so we'll go into the code commit. Within the pull requests, we should be seeing the pull request and I as an approver or any um, of the senior developers can merge this and after merging you will see those changes in your master branch so let's see the code on seeing the code you can see the index.html the changes are being visible here so in this way we can secure our branching and at the same time our repository from the direct commit or from any of the unauthorized access so in this way it is done and hope you like the video please like and subscribe the channel if you love the content so thank you so much a very good bye